how to keep up with the high pace of life. Hi, my name is Rémi Boudreau. I'm a licensed painter, color consultant, owner of Expressions Painting, and founder of Expressions Painting University. This type of subject is perhaps not something that you may expect to hear from a person such as myself. However, the answer really has been the foundation to how I have personally approached life and have been able to accelerate or to keep up with the acceleration and momentum without burning myself down. And the, the best analogy that I've come up with that really reminds me is imagine yourself on a bicycle. Now, at the beginning, you, you, you have it on the lowest gears, of course, and you start pedaling, right? But after a while, you start gaining momentum and you go faster, right? The pace is much faster. Well, of course, the, there's two options, right? You can bring down your head and just pedal and pedal and pedal and go faster and faster. After a while, though, it comes near impossible to keep up, right? You all of a sudden lose control, and if I remember correctly, even the pedals start hitting you in the back of your, your legs, right? But the point is that in this scenario, the alternative is very simple. You change up the gears, right? You bring them up so that all of a sudden for the same effort, you're going much faster, right? Now, if we bring this to life or to work or to any situation where you're perhaps starting to feel that overwhelm, I would encourage you to, to get your mind refocused and away from the action, the doing, because we can compare that to peddling, right? The doing, action, right? But to instead take a second to refocus and see how you can bring yourself up to that next gear. How can your action bring more power, more result, more momentum, right? Because a lot of times if you stop to think about the ins and outs, especially with people with kids, right? I can, with three young kids and myself, there's so many things that add up that you need to do, 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 do. And even the conversation, what do you want to do tonight? It always seems to revolve around action and a lot less about just being, the present moment. There's always seems to be that next thing we're trying to get to and do and do and feel productive, right? Because doing feels good in the short term. But you need to figure out how to bring yourself up to that next gear so that the speed of life doesn't consume and overwhelm you and just bring you down to the point of exhaustion, right? I know by speaking to so many people in what I do in life and just watching people on social media, a lot of people are feeling this overwhelm. And that's why I find that if you think about the analogy of the bicycle again, to bring yourself up to that next gear, you may still be doing that doing, but there's something else that takes place, and it's the gear change, right? So there needs to be a change of some sort in your life, whether you take a step back, reduce the doing, and add a bit more reflection time, contemplation, perhaps a new field of study, education, something that can bring you to that next gear, whatever that may be for you. So really, don't try to do more of the peddling, the doing. Instead, take a break, see how you can, for yourself, bring up that to net, the next gear. That is how you can keep up with that pace of living without draining yourself down in the doing, all right? Did you get value in this video? I'm certainly hoping that you did. If you are a homeowner in the Moncton, uh, greater Moncton area in Moncton, New Brunswick, Canada, please visit our website. We will help you change your colors to help you change your life. If you're a painter, contractor, or consultant anywhere in the world, we do have an online school where we can help you take your career to that next level or <laughs> to that next gear, perhaps. All right, thanks for watching. I will see you again next week.